Okay, we're back. And I've just been doing a bit of experimenting. And I have now turned back on. I have now turned back on Q32 and Q16. Whoops, look at that. Oh, Got to be gotta be careful. That's the whole thing. Hold on. 16. So the 16 and the 32 the MIDI out from Reaper is now coming back in here. And I have made done a little bit of automation. So we'll watch this. It's a little bit... It's a bit sick, the mix, but you'll see, you will see. What? Oh. So, got to highlight Reaper, of course, W, and then start. Or you can start over here. You can start over there. So you just watch now. It was set to our customers. So the kick goes up. Is available tonight. The kick went up. The snare went up. So it's all happening from over here. It's like mixing in the box. It's like falling it. It's mixing in the box, but it's coming back in through here, so it's not exactly mixing in the box. There's the bass went up, see? See? Automatically. It all comes back in from here. Just to show you. running this so you, you can see coming up we're coming up to a, a spot where uh, the keyboard I think that's the keyboard we'll just wait for it to come up yeah. and down here Over there. Anyway, because I did 47, that was 47. So, what we're saying is, if I just stop. So that's channel 40. That's channel 40, so it's a fix. So let's, let's go find uh, some instruments. like falling it so you're mixing in your custom layer you're mixing you're mixing those there and they are and, and, and the send the send from reaper back into here is post post fader from reaper so it comes back in here and so that's how you can automate it but you've got to turn you've got to turn your MIDI output from Reaper back off because if you try to if you try to uh, if you try to mix at the moment uh, it will you can't move the faders because they're locked in to the MIDI see it's just it's locked in see you can't you should not force it you can feel it force it So I'll just stop that, I'll stop that, and I'll show you how. So now we think, oh yeah, we've got a mix, right? Okay, so now, which is a real pain, if we turn this off again, turn this off again, so we've got no MIDI coming back. So wherever I want to start, back in, wherever I want to start back in uh, my mix, if I want to do my mix from the beginning again, X, so now we knew that the kick went up first. This next track is available tonight. So if I can now move it, see? I can, it's turned to red. Somebody so baby. it's turned to red up here. The kick. And that's the snare. I push the bass up. Pull it right back. That's it. There's the keys here. Just 
vocals down a bit there. So I push. Of course, that turns that up so you can. But we're overwriting. What I'm trying to get at is that we are overwriting. at the moment. So we're overwriting that scene. See that there? And if I go back to here, if I go back to there, it's the bass. I can rewrite it. See? I can rewrite it in real time. So you can do a complete remix in your custom, in your custom fader mode. This is always in custom fader unless tracking. And so there is my uh, there, there's my mix on my other on my on my summing mix where it's coming back in and going out. I hope you can follow what I'm trying to say because it's really really quite awkward. Um, but as you can see, I can I can move that around freely. Freddy, only when these are turned, the MIDI coming back in. So now I turn that back on to 32, I turn that back on to 16, right? And so now, if I if I push, if I play, play now, oh, hold on, push the wrong button over there, I'm gonna highlight this, because if I, Custom layer mode now. So we we'll just go back up here. If you look. See what happened? It just, it just follows. Go back here again. So it's kind of a. It works. It works. It's kind of cheating the system a bit but who cares so that was when that was turned back on so the MIDI data is coming back we'll play it you'll see so you get some MIDI commands coming back There's little wee black dots yeah GSR, you can turn the write and the read off and on. It has two little buttons, and that's what this desk needs. Just to be able to go to program the soft keys to turn the MIDI information off. I hope this is not too confusing. Yep. Cheers.